Hello, beautiful Taurus. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I want to thank you, Taurus, for all of your comments, your likes, your subscriptions uh, are truly appreciated, guys. There are many new people to the channel. I do welcome you. Let's find out what's going on for Taurus. What are the energies for Taurus? I'm going to pull some astrology here, Taurus, and see what the universe wants to tell you. What about Taurus? Neptune, some kind of sacrifice, you've had to give something up, some kind of mystery, Black Moon Lilith here, something that was mysterious or something, somebody tried to keep a mystery for your own stability, it's to do with stability. Just you felt something, I guess. Felt that, yeah, change. Something needed to change. Taurus. Hmm. Somebody was in their south node paying off some kind of life debt, karmic, uh, karmic debt. Sensing something. It's about emotions. Made you all the wiser. Saturn returns something a lot wiser. Gaining a lot of wisdom and knowledge about something. Something had to change. It's like too mysterious. It's like you needed to... Um, a solid foundation. You just... You could sense something or you had to sacrifice something for your own stability. Something had to change. You're a lot wiser and it's beneficial. It's a beneficial change. Your house of partnerships, you just having faith. Could be in your belief system. I don't know. New friends. You could have been saying, you know, like, is this in my mind or is this real? Is, am I really sensing this? Yep, you were really sensing this. It is about a karmic debt that had to be paid either in this life or a past life. It's like your house of partnerships. Yeah, somebody was... Um, probably provoking you or something like that or you've been provoked or it is provoked you into getting something more beneficial you could have be somebody could have made you a hothead or somebody provoked you somehow and you were sensing something and something has come to an end you weren't imagining things. They could have been like being mysterious and you were sensing that something was wrong. They're a karmic energy or they had some kind of karmic debt owing that they had to go pay. What's going on here for Taurus? There's new partners, new friends everything is changing you're a lot wiser and jupiter is returning you benefits of whatever changes that you have made in your life in your partnerships in your friends surround yourself with protective energy Someone was a shapeshifter, I'm just saying right now. They weren't what they seemed to be. This is going through a transformation. 
and this is learning to be more graceful and in your movements and your actions I don't know maybe some of you Tauruses surprise surprise might have been hotheads I don't know and it's like the elders are saying move past ancestral patterns like maybe your first response when somebody provokes you is to like to blow up and they're telling you not to blow be graceful in your movements and your actions take a time to reflect before you respond <laughs> that's what it is Drop your shields. You might be too guarded. Embrace the energy of peace. Because you might have a lot of people around you that are provoking the shit out of you. Okay? Ignite your passion. What are you passionate about? You're not alone. You have a guardian angel around you. Take care of your needs this winter. That's what it's telling you this winter. Take care of your needs. You might have a lot of people around you that provoke you to anger or are trying to provoke you to ang anger. Take time to reflect. Don't be this hothead. That's what Spirit is saying. Stability, nurturing empress energy of abundance. Don't let it mess with you. Focus in on your stability. You're going to be celebrating something. Taking your power back. This is financial stability. This is loyal, dedicated. This is, I don't know, you might have had to leave somebody out in the cold or somebody left you out in the cold they could have been trying to provoke you this is like you needed to take a rest or a breakup or something like that till somebody changes their ways i'm just saying you're highly intuitive and you've had to end something or something has come to an end and now you're like looking elsewhere. What are you getting? Wealth, financial stability. You could have a lot of uh, anxiety about your, your stability, your wealth. You could like have a, a lot of anxiety, fear, stress, worry about your finances. But it's all going to be chilled. You've got a guardian angel around you. It's saying you're going to get your Ten of Cups. This is harmony. Don't worry about it. You're going to have your Ten of Cups. Mm, you're resilient. You've been through a lot of pain and suffering. But you're highly independent now. And you're resilient. You're bouncing back. You're like the warrior. Okay? You're persevering. And I'm telling you, you've got financial stability here you've been through the tower okay it may shock you but look ten of pentacles is quite a shock <laughs> that's wealth <laughs> if you're worrying about your finances spirit is saying don't worry stay strong because it's all working out You have a lot of, um, in the past, this is someone from your past maybe trying to return, but this is like the innocence of childhood. Be a child, like, you have a lot of haters. I'm going to be real. Com competition. That is that provoker. People like to provoke you. I don't know what this is. Because you have taken control, turned your life by the looks of it. You've gone and taken everything that was dark 
and negative and turned it into a positive. You're stable. Your finances are going to be good. If they're not yet, you're going to be financially stable. You worry a lot about this, but you have a lot of haters because of your success. It's like someone maybe from your past who is hating on you is determined like to provoke you. These are provocative words. It's like, you know, like deer in the headlights. What? People like to provoke you. Block them. You're in the midst of manifesting. It is in the works, whatever your, it is. Pentacles. You're being given. This is being the benefactor of generosity. It's in the works. Finances, stability, and you got a lot of haters. Look, I can't make it up, guys. You're single, you're confident, you on yourself. You, yourself, are the nine and the ace of pentacles. That's ten pentacles. You have nothing to worry about, but I think what makes you worry a lot is all the haters that you have. Okay? But you learn to nurture yourself. Every You've got the wheel of fortune. You've taken leadership of your life. You move forward. You've done this in isolation. You've done this yourself. Achieved your own happiness. And that's why you're hated on so bad. You've, you've had the exhaustion. You've had the burdens. You've had all these things. And it's like you deserve every penny of this. What's going on? Yeah, you're highly intuitive. You make your plans, you meditate, you make your plans, you take control, and then here you get these visions of your dreams. You visualize, you're very sensitive to uh, feelings. It's all about sensing. Something might be a mystery, but you sense things and you know things, you feel things. And it's like you know, it's like you just feel feel that your dreams are coming true that the sun is here with this wealth everything is changing your dreams are be you're the receiver of these things you're the benefactor of this generosity and that's why you have so many you're a great manifester i cannot make it up that's why you're judged people judge you be there is see you made the choice, okay, to move forward in your life, be independent, um, reaping the rewards of this harvest, whatever you're working for. If you haven't gotten it yet, it's on its way. But that's the proverbial dream, guys. So whether you're this emperor or this empress energy, you bossed up. You took a leadership role. Now everyone else feels defeated. That's jealousy. That's competition. That's hate, Nanya. People hate you because you're being so abundant. Well, you work for every penny of it. You're successful and now you've moved forward. You've set boundaries. You've cut off anybody who is sneaking, lying, cheating, you get the justice. It's been given to you from the universe. Okay? There is new love in your future if you want it. A new beginning, a new fresh start. Somebody is, the, there is Empress Energy again, I'm telling you. You've taken authority and control of your own life. You've taken your future, you've taken everything that was dark, turned it into light, S trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You strived, you worked, yeah, to the point of exhaustion. And then people want to hate on you and provoke you because you're finally getting your dreams fulfilled here. Whoa. Taurus, let them hate. Just saying, let them hate. You're always going to have haters. And the more power you get, the more haters you get. You know, if you got haters, you're doing something right. 
take care, Taurus. Good luck.